Developing tonight, Philadelphia police announcing an arrest of a man connected to three armed robberies in the Northeast, one that turned into a shooting. And tonight they're commending two second district officers who helped lead to his arrest. Kelly Rule spoke to the store employee who was shot during one of those armed robberies. The store employee injured in a shooting in one of these armed robberies tells me he's still in a lot of pain tonight, getting ready to have his second surgery. He says this man was actually a regular customer of his, but he came in with a mask on Sunday night, so he didn't realize it at first. He says he's relieved he's now in custody. He tried to kill you for $200 he, or $300. That, that's really bad. From his hospital room, an employee of Cloud9 Smoke Shop says he's relieved to hear the man accused of shooting him in the leg during an armed robbery Sunday night on Cotman Avenue. 47-year-old Tyree Hatch is now in custody, according to Philadelphia police. He asked that we protect his identity. He tried to put the gun in, you know, um, um, between my eyes. So I think he want to kill me. That's why I, I grabbed the gun from him. Police say Hatch is behind two other armed robberies in the Northeast as well over the past few days where he held employees at gunpoint and made off with cash. Saturday around 1 p.m. at Exotic Convenience Store on Castor Avenue and on Monday at Castor Smoke and Vape Shop. The shooting investigation group says before Monday's armed robbery, they identified Hatch as a suspect. And moments after that latest heist, officers Eichler and McKenna from the 2nd District in communication with SIG investigators tracked Hatch down at a house on Large Street. It happened to be just the right place, right time. Saw the vehicle in the, in the back driveway. Saw him enter the front of the property shortly after. And we were able to declare a barricade situation and safely and effectively take him into custody. For today, you know, two days away from Thanksgiving, we're extremely thankful to get this guy off the street and in custody. We took a violent felon off the street by the work of these two good officers. Commissioner Kevin Bethel thanking the officers today. The employee who says he was shot by Hatch says Hatch was a regular customer, but the night of the armed robbery, he came in with a mask on. The mask, while he was down a little bit, then I saw, I saw uh, like half of his face, then I know him. You think that's why he shot you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want that to happen to anybody else uh, because it's really bad. Yeah. So like me, I'm coming from another country. I'm coming here to work for my family. Police say during a search warrant at Hatch's home, they located evidence connected to all three robberies, including a gun, which was stolen from Bristol Township back in July. Police say Hatch did confess to committing all three robberies, but they are still investigating if he's connected to any others. Reporting outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News.